Welcome to another edition of Canadian Tour TV. I'm Scott Pritchard here with James Lepp. And James, uh, you're playing your first Canadian Tour event, your one and only to, uh, Canadian Tour event that you, you typically play each and every year. And uh, you're four over today at one point, and you, and you brought it in at even par. How do you feel about your round? I feel really good about my round, actually. Um, even when I was at four over, I still felt like I had some game, and it was just a couple, couple bad swings, put in some bad spots, and really wasn't scrambling that well to start out of the gate and I was kind of nervous actually you know it's one tournament a year really that kind of matters um, so I was feeling I checked my pulse there on the first tee hit two good shots there and then um, I just missed a short one on 11 and 12 I hit it in the bushes and um, didn't get off the start I wanted but I told my caddy Scott um, you know I'm getting back to even and I was at three over when I told him that I made another bogey I'm like what am I doing here thinking about what ferry to catch on Friday um, but just kept kept uh, staying the course still felt uh, good over the ball and then made, made some birdies, stayed patient and uh, was, was uh, fortunate to finish it even. Now when you do when you do bring it back to even and it's well documented you're you know you're giving up the professional side of the game to focus on the shoes and we'll get to that um, but it, you know when you when you're able to grind like that and get it back to even does it you know thinking about tomorrow but do you have any aspirations to maybe come back out on tour or give another shot or are you pretty much dedicated to what you're doing now? I'm pretty sunk into it right now. You know, I can't, it's even right now. I kind of miss my orders. There's orders coming in. We got to fulfill them, and we kind of missed the, the deadline for that because I'm out here on the golf course. Um, but uh, I mean, I love just you know. Right now, I'm really liking golf, which is uh, I know if I overdo it, I start really hating it, for lack of a better term. But uh, kind of kills me. But um, if I'm playing one tournament a year, and I, I prepared for this one too, it's 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 a lot of fun to come out here and be competitive. Um, if I'm mid-season like I was two years ago and I'm four over through seven holes or whatever it was, I'm just writing it in. I'm like, okay, hey, get me out of here. Who can I caddy for on the weekend? <laughs> Stuff like that. But this, today was a little bit different because I, I knew that I was feeling pretty good about the game and it's my you know one tournament. So went at it hard and um, it's probably going to be the only tournament. I figured if I win this one, then I'll maybe get in the Canadian Open. So I'll play two. And then if I win that one, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. And uh, any saucer passes out there today? There was no opportunity today. Um, all my chips were from the rough. I wasn't ever uh, chipping from from the fairway, but uh, the sauce feels pretty good right now. Is that an actual shot that you sure. you use in in tournament? Yeah, it's just, it's, you can use it anywhere. Well, mainly off the fairway, but it is surprisingly very effective. And even when I'm chipping well normally out of the fairway, I can out chip myself with the saucer pass. It's just it's a simple motion. I shoot hockey right-handed. I'm a pretty good passer, um, so it's completely natural. Awesome. Well, good playing today, and hopefully you can get her even lower tomorrow, and we'll see you on the weekend and give it a run, and hopefully we'll see you at the Canadian Open with the with the shoes, kicker shoes, right? Yeah. Actually, before we I let you go, sure. tell us a little bit, little bit about how kicker's going, and, you know, for people that maybe don't know what kicker is, sort of what the, it's a lifestyle brand, yeah. sort of in, I'll let you explain it. Yeah, I, I, it's kind of ancient history now, it feels like, but uh, three, four years ago, I think I was I was catting for James Love, and I'm wearing my skate shoes on the course, and I'm like, man, these shoes are comfy, why isn't there a golf shoe like this? He was like, yeah, you're right, man, there's got to be something like this. So it started off with just a simple conversation, and as my golf was kind of dwindling, um, I decided, hey, there's got to be a company like this. Um, no other golf shoe manufacturer was doing anything at the at the point at that time and i knew there was a market for it now you see this whole product category of kind of alternative golf footwear just exploding it's kind of the talk of the golf shoe world um so that was the vision back then and and now it's a reality and uh we just got kind of uh younger um kind of street inspired skate inspired golf shoes they perform really well we got I think there's five or six guys in the tournament wearing them this week. So um, they definitely perform as golf shoes. They're really cool looking. They're comfortable. And that's pretty much the story. Awesome. Well, good luck with that. I know that, you know, like I did, I've seen a number of guys wearing them, uh, playing a, a, a few caddies wearing them as well. So if uh, I'll try and link it up, actually, on, on the video, kicker, kicker, kicker.com. Kicker and uh, K-I-K-K-O-R.com. There you go. Okay, well, good playing today and keep it up. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.